honors, guests, family members, and friends. Welcome to the Dr. Rita Hokokina's Junior Senior High School's 11th Annual Commencement Exercise. I am Jermaine Poeyala. And I am Kaylin Bogoa, and we will be your mistress for this ceremony. Before I begin this momentous ceremony, may you kindly put your cell phones on silent mode and be courteous to those around us by refraining from talking during the ceremony. During the presentation of awards and diplomas, we encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering. But please allow the presentation and gifting of lace to be done after the recession of the graduates. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you all the RHI class of 2022. Let us allow the graduates as they enter the stage.
Thank you. May everyone please take your seats. <coughs> Today is a momentous occasion, both in the lives of these graduates before us and for our school. We recognize how difficult it has been through these pandemic years. We would like to thank everyone for joining us on this momentous occasion. Your presence this afternoon is greatly appreciated. We would like to recognize the presence of the Honorable Governor Ralph De Leon Guerrero Torres, the Honorable Lieutenant Governor Ar Arnold Palacios, Brother Representative of the Governor, Ms. Wakina Kings, 22nd Cinemai Legislator, Honorable Paul A. Malonia, 22nd Cinemai Legislator, Honorable Senator Teresita A. Santos, 22nd Cinemai Legislator, Honorable House of the Representative Congressman Donald M. Manglania. 22nd Cinemai Legislature, Honorable House of Representative Congressman Leila Staffler. The Mayor of Rota, Honorable Ephraim N. Atalig. 18th Rota Municipal Council, Honorable Chairman Jonathan H. Lazama. 18th Rota Municipal Council, Council Honorable Secretary Jim Atalik, 17th State Board of Education, Chairman Gregory P. Borja, 17th Cinemai State Board of Education, Vice Chairman Antonio L. Borja, 17th Cinemai State Board of Education, Secretary and Treasurer Maisie B. Tenorio, 17th Cinemai State Board of Education, Sergeant Major Retirement Hermit At Herman Atalik. TSS Commissioner of Education, Dr. Alfred A. Ada. TSS Associate Commissioner for Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Jackie A. Kirigua. TSS Associate Commissioner for Student and Support, Dr. Yvonne R. Angelinan. TSS Associate Commissioner for ARE, Dr. Le Rizalina Liwak. TSS Special Education Program Director, Ms. Donna Flores. Dr. Rita H. Enos, Junior Senior High School, Ms. Denise Tanya King. Dr. Rita H. Enos, Junior Senior High School, Vice Principal, Mrs. Annette Calvo. Dr. Rita Hokug Enos, Junior Senior High School, PTSA President, Ms. Alvira Meskin. Dr. Rita Hokug Enos, Junior Senior High School, PTSA Secretary, Ms. Sabrina Fran Calvo. Dr. Rita Hokug Enos, Junior Senior High School, PTSA Treasurer, Mrs. Jennifer B. Yalo. Sinapolo Elementary School Principal, Mrs. Daisy A. Kiribwa. Yeah. Graduates, this commencement marks a milestone in your lives. As you begin this new journey, please join me in thanking a very important group of people. Your parents, family members, and friends. They are also guests of honor at today's celebration. Thank you for your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, to formally open and to give us the words of welcome, it is my distinct privilege to introduce to you our RHI principal, Ms. Denise Tanya King. Thank you so very much, Chloe and Caitlin, Buenas tardes, and Dantelo Sizu Maase to our distinguished guests and our elected dignitaries, to our Board of Education, to 
Commissioner Dr. Ada, the key management team at Central Office, our PTSA, our RHI benefactors, the Mayor's Office, Community Departments, and guests from off island, but more importantly, parents, guardians, and families, but most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. The past two years, we did not have the proverbial map to understand your journey through high school. However, from the central government, under our governor and lieutenant governor, the Board of Education, the Commissioner of Education, the senior directors, and the supporting elements, who all provide us their unparalleled support, guidance, and wisdom as we ventured and navigated through these uncharted waters. We did the best we could to provide the best for our students during these unprecedented times. It is truly an honor and a privilege to witness this important rite of passage as you venture off to different oceans, as you enroll in college, join the military, go to the mainland, or wherever you may go, to pursue your dreams and your goals. My heartfelt appreciation to Dr. Rita Hoka advisors, Mama Dez, Mrs. Manala, and Brandon Faith. Thank you so very much. Could you please give them? They have been with these students for over five years. They have nurtured and guided them and are truly responsible for guiding the students in what you are seeing tonight. No words can adequately articulate what, a truly, ama what truly amazing work you have done with our graduates for the past six years. You were their surrogate parents, you were their faculty, but you were so much more. Teachers, Chanel, Charlene, Bernie, Jaya, Vinay, Sabrina, Brandy, Brianna, Joy, Master Sergeant, Grin, Dez, Ms. Manalan, Dorlin, Nadia, Elvi, Bell, Mona Lynn, Abby, and Cole, you are truly the unsung heroes. As you came into the area from the airport, you saw the unsung heroes. Those are our faculty and staff. Would you please give them a big round of applause? You adjusted instruction to meet the mandates, and you did it with fidelity and passion. Your persistence follow-up incorporating SCL, thank you, Dr. Bonnie, differentiated learning, accommodating unique, unique needs, lending a warm heart and empathy. The empathic concern is evident in today's story. You had rigor and relevance. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Senior Director Jackie. And you were also accountable for all the work that you did. Rosalina, Dr. Rosalina, thank you so very much. And to our amazing RHI staff and administration, you are the backbone of who we are. You are behind the scenes. Everyone, please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Our beloved class of K 2K22, without equivocation, I honor you as our celebrants, your parents, your guardians, and your extended family. Literally and figuratively, you are the last graduation in the CNMI. Often they say, the best for last. And I know that I'm partial, but to me, you are the best. For the past two and a half years, you have experienced the unfathomable. Yet despite torrential waters and waves, you beautifully navigated your proa, armed with water, food, life jackets, buoys, diving fins, goggles, and you sailed your way back home to RHI back into our arms. I honor you, I salute you, and know you possess the qualities 
needed to excel in life, tenacity, perseverance, fortitude, resiliency, flexibility, always have a plan A, B, C, D, E, determination and commitment. I wish you the greatest blessings in your next journey. Thank you for this opportunity to provide the principal's remark. I am honored and very appreciative. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Drive home safely and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. King, for the heartwarming, welcoming words. When we call upon the 18th Cinema State Board of Education Chairperson, Mr. Gregory P. Borja, to provide us with his congratulatory remarks. Please give him a round of applause. Welcome parents, family, loved ones, and to our dignitaries and our educators. Hoffa Day, Chamorro Bucks, Class of 2022. Today marks a milestone in all of your lives. Not only have you endured four years of high school, which is no easy feat, you have done so under extraordinary circumstances. You have all been challenged by typhoons, a pandemic, and the chore of remote learning, and you made it. You and your peers in the CNMI public school system have shown what can be accomplished when you show your determination and dedication in reaching your goals. As you prepare to move on into the next phase of your lives, I wish you the best in whatever it is you choose to pursue as your goal in life, whether it be continuing your education by seeking a degree in higher learning or starting a pathway into a profession that meets your interests or proudly serving our country through a career in the military. You have shown that you have what it takes to reach your desired outcome. Congratulations on this momentous occasion. Stay safe, good luck, and thank you for being the amazing students that you are. Again, congratulations. Let's please hear it for our Dr. Rita H. Enos High School class of 2022. Thank you, Board Chair Borja, for those inspiring words. I am pleased to call upon our 18th CNMI State Board of Education member, retired Sergeant Major Herman M. Atelik, to provide us with his congratulatory remarks. Thank you, Chloe, and the cabinet, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your presence here today. Buenas zan saludo para todos. Para todos, hita ni mangaligini. Finalena, it is such a beautiful day for celebration. And what makes it a beautiful celebration is our young women up on the States and our young men at the States. So please. Join me and let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Rhoda, graduates, you are so blessed today by the presence of our Lieutenant Governor. Hello? Governor, Mayor, the 22nd Legislatures, the councilmen, the family of the graduates, and all that are here today on that 10. So graduates, let's give them a big round of applause. They're here because they love you. And they're here beside having to fly from another island. They're here to celebrate and honor your graduation. To your right, you will see, and I'm so honored to have all the board, the BOE members, and my colleagues are here. Can the BOE stand, please? And let's give them a big round of applause. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much, Chairman. And also, the commissioners here. Commissioner, please stand. 
Thank you, Commissioner, for joining us here. Senior directors and directors, please stand and thank you so much. This is the first time again I hope that we guys all together came at one time. Teachers, staff, Rhoda High School, thank you for nurturing our students and meeting that requirement to graduate. So please, let's give everybody a great round of applause for their contribution and support to the RHI graduates. Graduates, this is your day. And I just want you to know that as you exit this chapter, your next chapter is going to be much, much harder. Life is not a walk in the park. Life is up and down. What you need to do is stay focused. Stay focused, stay motivated, and have that great attitude. The attitude that you believe in yourself, the attitude that you can do more, the attitude that you, yourself, can choose what you want to be. And the motivation is your willingness, your willingness to learn, your desire in your heart as to what you want to be and who you want to be. Because you have the potential to be all that you can be. Let's give them a big round of applause. Right. I also want you to know that your achievement today reflects great credit upon your family. So let's give your family a, a, a big round of applause. It also reflects a great credit upon your school, your, your administrator, your teachers, your staff, they're part of you, and that's why you're up here. Give them a hand, please. Thank you. Last is the community of Rhoda. Rhoda community is one-hearted. Un corazón, un guinaiza, un marianas. Estigi in Guinea, it out of Luta. From Guaja, Tinudan, at from Guaja, Manisita, as you do. My own corazón. So give our community a big round of applause, seniors, and I thank you so much. <laughs> Last and closing, I want you to know that I wish you the very, very best in your future. I wish you all the blessing. And I know that mom and dad has the same feeling for you. They want the best. So, congratulations seniors, congratulations graduates, I'm sorry, and congratulate parents and school and community. Thank you so much and good night. Hua. Thank you, Sergeant Major Retired Herman Atley. On behalf of the Dr. Rita H. Hoke of Enos Junior Senior High School, we would like to thank the entire Board of Education members for their commitment to provide our students with outstanding support. It is my pleasure to introduce our CNMI PSS Commissioner of Education, Dr. Alfred Ada, who will provide us with his congratulatory remarks. <laughs> Today, Tiro, and congratulations. Dr. Rita Hokuk Enos Junior High School. I would like to share with you a story about Dr. Rita Hokuk Enos. She was our leader, she was our commissioner 
at the time that I was a vice principal. And in one of those days, in my interaction with her, she said, Alfred, you know what? You can be a commissioner someday. And at that time I said, no, 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 no. I'm okay being a principal. I'll just stay as a principal. That's all I want to be. But here I am, 22 years later, and I, I'm standing here in her place as Commissioner of Education. I have a special place in my heart for Dr. Rita Hokudinos. Not just her, but for the school. Because not only was she a leader, she was a mentor. She was a mentor that gave angel whispers. And that moment when she said that I was going to be commissioner someday, I didn't think about it. I walked away. But I'm feeling her spirit right now because I look up to her and I say, thank you. Thank you that you're here and I'm here. What a beautiful story we have, Dr. Enos. So today I passed by the cemetery and I said to her, Tijus Masi, say nahu, Puwai Zaho. May she rest in peace. And the reason why I wanted to share that story with you is because someday, after today, pay attention to those angel whispers. Because they will come to you. When a small message, it was such a very short, but when she said, Someday you're going to be commissioner. And I didn't think about it. Not at that time. But pay attention. Not just to your parents, but to your aunts and uncles and people that really surround you, that help you grow. Because I know that she's with us here in spirit. So allow me to say my speech. Because I didn't want to leave today without sharing with you what Dr. Innes would say. And she said, to our distinguished guests, our community leaders, our school leaders, teachers and staff, families, friends, and parents, join me in congratulating the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> this is indeed a great day to celebrate, celebrate a tremendous milestone that you students have accomplished. Through all the ups and downs of the past few years, one constant remains. The CNMI public school system graduated students. Your high school career was no walk in the park. Half of your high school journey was a roller coaster ride due to a worldwide pandemic. We are now making our way towards normalcy in our community. Booster shots are available. Face masks are becoming optional and drive through ceremonies are long gone. So my dear students, focus on the bright side. Focus on the gift of life. The gift of life and time that you spent with your loved ones. The new things you learn about yourself and the experiences that shape of who you are today. Our hope for you is that you seek the best opportunities for yourself Find joy in the career or path that you choose for yourself, and we encourage you to enrich your life, but also the lives of others and the life of Rhoda. Learning never ends, so continue to make time. Seek knowledge and try new experience and adventures. From all of us at the CNMI Public School System and the 17th State Board of Education, Congratulations again, and from the bottom of my heart, well done, class of 2022. You got this. Thank you, Commissioner Dr. Ada, for the very inspiring and insightful remarks. May your messages motivate them to strive harder. After 22 years of active military service, Master Sergeant Ronald Graham retired in 1997. Born in Neptune, New Jersey, Master Sergeant Graham has been involved in numerous extremely sensitive military assignments around the world. 
from the American Embassy in Italy to join United States military mission aid in Ankara, Turkey. From the Southern Command in the Republic of Panama and Kabzama in Tokyo, Japan, Master Sergeant has accumulated a wide range of experiences throughout his military career. Experiences that he now shares with the RHI Butt Battalion. He has coordinated movements of special weapons and their components, including the coordination of many U.S. military air aircraft clearances within the Turkish airspace. Master Sergeant Graham also organized the retaliatory airstrike against dictator Muammar Gaddafi in 1988. Armed with his arsenal of exemplary military experience, he led the Reserve Officer Training Corps at Clement McKenna College in California. Training college students to become productive, active, reserve, or National Guard Army officers. He then became the senior enlisted advisor to the professor of military science. Master Sergeant is a highly decorated service member, having earned numerous medals like the National Defense Service Medal and the Army Meritus Service Medal, only to name a few. Only about a year after, he retired in 1997. He began his career as a JROTC Army instructor in the Torrance Unified School District retiring from the California Te Instructor Teachers Retired System in 2019. Since then, he has been and is currently employed with the public school system as an Army instructor at Saipan Southern High School. It is our honor to introduce Master Sergeant Ronald Graham. Thank you very much. That was a lot, you know, a lot of it I forgot about already. But um, it's all true. Thank you to the entire list of dignitaries, administrators, <coughs> faculty and staff, family, and all other visitors to the Rhoda High School 2022 graduating ceremony. Again, I am a retired master sergeant a retired educator, and it is my honor, class 2022, to be asked to be your keynote speaker. Wow, what an amazing and joyous day that we have been blessed with. To the graduating class of 2022, allow me please to quote one of your well-known music artists, Drake. <laughs> when he sings that you are all here, that you have all started from the bottom, and now you are all here. Congratulations. Today I will refer to the bottom as your early formative learning years with emphasis on that learning, simply because, and hopefully, learning will occur throughout your future life. And therefore, I challenge you to do so. Your formative learning years are those from birth until now, 18. The latter stage of your learning process and accomplishments will be certified today by a, a diploma signed by the Commissioner of Education. Your diploma will serve as verification of many topics and disciplines that you were successfully taught to include but not limited to. You learned who mommy and daddy was. You learned your loving family who will be there for you, with you, no matter what. You learned first that you had to crawl before you could walk and walk before you could run. You learned that when you were really tired that you did not have to cry first. You could just go night night. You also learned early on that no means exactly that, no. Later on during your teenage years of learning, and possibly before, 
You also learn to think critically and that it is much harder to do what is right and much easier to do what is wrong. During these years, you learn that much that you must always be accountable for your actions, good or bad. You learn that the earth is round and has one, one moon. You learn some important personal character traits to include, but not limited to also, determination. That's what got you here. Respect, honesty, empathy, loyalty, and commitment. Congratulations on your outstanding learning efforts at this stage. So now you are here, as Drake sings, but with more learning to accomplish. Actually, you're going into your most important and challenging stages of your life, the important employment and undergraduate learning stage. Using the knowledge that you acquired earlier, you will now use it to decide a career or a school path. If career, choose one that requires learning and training throughout the remainder. And remember, always to strive to obtain the best education training that's possible. Because it will set you up for an excellent career. Now you notice I haven't mentioned the word job. Because we, I, we don't want you to have that. We want you to have a career. The difference is a career is synonymous with salary. A job, at least the beginning of it, is synonymous with hourly wage. You're pretty smart, I know you can figure that out. Okay? So, um, Here's a little forecast off script. What we, I, would like your path to be, and you're probably, not probably, probably two thirds into it. Continue to get the best education you can get, which will land you the best career possible, which will set you up for retirement, where you will not have to work another day in your life. Okay, and each one of those stages, it's a learning process in it. Even in retirement, you gotta learn how to cool out, take a break, rest, and have a pleasant remainder of your life. To truncate my delivery to you, I want the graduates of 2022 to understand this. Do not waste your time. Time is of essence. Get the best education you can, again, which will earn you a rewarding career, which will set you up for retirement. In closing, we, I, are very proud of you. We understand the challenges the hurdles, the struggles that got you here. And all we do is wish you love and the best. God bless you and thank you very much. Thank you, Master Sergeant Graham Retire. May your inspirations forever be in their hearts. At this juncture, this is what we are waiting for our class of 2022 valedictorian speech. She is the daughter of Mr. David and Mrs. Annette Calvo. She was born and raised on the beautiful island of Rhoda. Yeah. While in high school, she was a member of various clubs and organizations such as the Red Cross Club, the Youth Advisory Panel, the National Honor Society, Asian Innovation, and AmeriCorps. She is currently working to finish her service hours for the AmeriCorps program. 
As an AmeriCorps member, she has completed over 1,800 hours. Wow. Throughout her high school career, she has made many fun and memorable memories that she will never forget. After high school, she plans to further her education in Oregon, where she plans to major in business and attain a minor in interior design. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to this year's valedictorian, Miss Savon Calvo. in this world, and what inspired me the most was anime. Anime was a big factor in my life and has helped me through most days when I felt down. I would like to share with you all my favorite anime, which is One Piece. <laughs> and the inspiration it gave me and continues to do so. My favorite character in that anime is Luffy. Luffy is a very carefree, courageous, fearless, and spirited character. Throughout his journey, Luffy has faced many obstacles that have put him through tough situations. On the other hand, he has also received many opportunities that made him stronger as a character. What I admired about him is that he always took the initiative. There was never a situation where Luffy backed down from a challenge or from a new opportunity, especially when he knew he was closer to finding the One Piece. For those who don't know, the One Piece is a mythical treasure that everyone is searching for. I would like to ask my peers, what are you searching for? What is your One Piece? Is it wanting to be a nurse? Is it wanting to be a teacher? Is it wanting to be a farmer? Is it creating your own happy family? It is up to you to define what it is. And it is up to you to take the initiative to go after it, just like Luffy did. But he did not do it alone. He surrounded himself with his own crew that supported and believed in him. I would like to thank my crew. Thank you to my family for their support and valuable advice that has shaped me as a person. Thank you to my friends for the memories we created together throughout high school. Thank you to my three advisors, Ms. Manala, Ms. Dez, Ms. Brandy, for believing in me and my fellow graduates and putting their time and effort into our success. Thank you also to those who have supported me one way or another. Now, to my fellow graduates, we will be starting a new journey filled with new experiences and opportunities. You will face many challenges, but it is important to continue to take the initiative for your future. Like the brave and courageous Luffy, I hope you go after your dreams. I hope you find great and valuable friends along the way. I hope you make a difference in someone's life or yours. But most of all, I wish you all good luck in your future adventures. Go out and find your one piece. Yeah. Sidelines when things get tough. 
She speaks up for what she believes in, and she has an array of interests such as baking, cooking, arts and crafts, and dancing. Growing up, she received many academic awards and has participated in various clubs and organizations. Currently, she is an AmeriCorps member who serves her community and school. She enjoys working with students, helping her friends and family, and volunteering. She was a camp counselor for the Summer Youth Empowerment Camp in 2021, where she explored the outdoors and gained many valuable skills. She is very active with her family's business, which she believes has taught her many life lessons, such as time management and customer service. After high school, she plans to attend Northern Marianas College, where she will take all prerequisite classes and major in business or accounting. Everyone, please welcome our 2022 salutatorian, Miss Nomiko Mary. guests, faculty and staff of RHI. Welcome to this year's graduation ceremony. Thank you all for coming out here this evening to witness and celebrate the class of 2022. Some of you have traveled a great distance to be with us on this momentous, momentous occasion and for that I am grateful. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Namiko Nani Mendiola Cabo. I am very honored and proud to be here today. To be able to express my appreciation and thanks to the many individuals who have helped me and my fellow classmates throughout our high school years. As I stand here today, I feel overwhelmed with many different emotions. I feel happy to be able to share my accomplishments with you all, but I also feel sad because this might truly be the last time my class and I will be together. Time has flown by so fast that I still can't believe I am here giving this speech. After countless days of preparing and practicing, I am glad that we have pulled through and are now having this traditional graduation ceremony. The past two years have been very difficult and life-changing for many people in the CNMI and around the world. However, it was even more difficult for our class since we didn't even know whether or not we would be up on this stage today. The pandemic has really changed the way we learn. We have gone through many learning platforms and have gone in and out of school. But through it all, we, are, we came out stronger than ever. We were able to push through all the trials and make the best out of what we had. Now today, we are all on the stage because of all of our hard work, determination, and willingness to never give up. This pandemic may have taken away a lot of things from us, but I'm glad that it didn't take away the very important milestone in our lives. As important as this milestone is to us, our amazing advisors are just as important. We wouldn't be up here today without them. Our second parent. Miss Manana. Oh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm so Miss oh, <laughs> <laughs> Manana, Miss Brandy, and Miss Des. Thank you all for taking on this journey with us. You are all more than just teachers and advisors, and there are no words to ever explain how grateful I am. How grateful we are. Just sorry. How grateful we are for all the time and energy you have spent molding us into the unique individuals that we are today. You have inspired each and every one of us with all of your life lessons and childhood stories. Being under your wings for the past six years has definitely prepared us with knowledge of the real world and what we should expect. You have all impacted my life so much and I, I know that students would be lucky to have you as their teacher or advisor. 
I can just say that I would truly miss my home, B1 classroom, and these blue halls that I've walked through the past six years. I would also like to thank all the teachers of RHI. Thank you very much for having a special role in my life. You have all made this school so special to me, and I want you all to know how much of an influence you have on me. To all of my family, siblings, thank you for always being there for me. All of your support, guidance, and advice has helped me throughout these years. To my parents, Ron and Lori Calvo, you are both the greatest role models and my greatest supporters. Thank you for your unconditional love, support, and guidance throughout my education. You are both the most hardworking individuals, but you have always managed to be there for me. I appreciate how you never forced me to do anything I didn't want to do. I loved how merely doing my best was enough. You have believed in me more than I believed in myself. And I love you for both showing me how I stand out by being who I choose to be and not who someone wants me to be. Thank you for raising me to the independent woman I am today. Lastly, to my fellow classmates, we have made, finally made it. <laughs> it has been hectic these past few years, but it wouldn't have been memorable without you all. We went from being the students in a rush to find a seat in the bus, to the students trying to pay their gas and drive here to school. <laughs> I'm glad that we have shared downfalls, successes, and cherishable moments together. We all come from different homes, cultures, and backgrounds, but when we are here in school together, I feel as though we are one family. This is a moment that doesn't last forever, so I hope you are each taking this all in before we exit this campus. After today, we are on to our next chapter. Life does not end here. It is just the beginning. You each have an intelligent mind of your own, and I know that you will do great things after we part. And lastly, don't be afraid to take risks or fail, because failure is a lesson we can always learn from. So whatever you put your mind to, you make the main move on whether or not you will succeed. Once again, thank you all for being here today, and congratulations, my God. Thank you so much, Monica, for the speech. That was so heartwarming and emotional. But beautiful addresses, ladies. These ladies remind us that graduation is the end of just one chapter and the beginning of another. So embrace their words and your future. Let's give them another round of applause. At this moment, we will begin the presentation of awards. Again, we would like to remind you that during the presentation of awards, we encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering. But please allow the presentation of ladies to be done after the recession of graduates. Can I call upon the Board of Education Chairman and Members to present the Board of Education Award. Yeah. Well, the Northern Mariana Islands 17th State Board of Education presents this Academic Excellence Award to Savan Atalay Calvo, valedictorian of Dr. Rita The Cinema Public School 
system present this Commissioner of Education Academic Excellence Award to Namiko Nani Mendiola Kao, did he teach virtual reality to the entire faculty and staff and students. He also taught two cohorts combining 20 students how to utilize the 3D printer. He also served as the Board of Education student representative. He's dynamic, he's charismatic, he has been an incredible MC for many of our spirit days. So without further ado, it gives me great honor and privilege to present Dr. Rita Hokovinos. We love you. Your spirit is here, as our commissioners so eloquently stated. Home of the Chamorro Bucks Principal's Leadership Award is presented to Jed Riemann's St. Teresa. In Before, you know, the photo taking of me, uh, I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to say this. Um, half a day, good evening, and magandang gabi. You might be surprised as to why I'm here talking to you, for I'm neither the valedictorian nor the salutatorian of my class. <laughs> inspiration to my class and to the students of the future. Life is an ocean with waves that go up and down. These ups and downs are the trials and tribulations we have and haven't faced yet. Years of typhoons, isolation, and COVID has rattled this class. We have faced triumph, but we have also have made many blunders. But let these blunders, these failures, not define what we become, but rather be the foundation of our success. Life will pull you down to the depths deeper than we can fathom, depths deeper than you thought possible. But it is up to you and you alone as an individual to wade these turbulent waves, these waters, and to swim to newer shores. As we leave, I am reminded of a quote from one of Shakespeare's plays. Parting is such sweet sorrow. A melancholic moment for all of us as a new chapter of our lives unfold and we say goodbye to our campus, our home, our family of Dr. Rita Hokug, Enos Junior Senior High. We will always be tomorrow but we will always be Mangata. To Jules Mahati, thank you. And Marami, salamat po. Miss D. 
Denise Tonya King back up to the stage to present the top 10 awards.
This award is presented to Sivan Atalik Calvo. Next, may I call the Lieutenant Governor of the CNMI, Honorable Arnold Palacios, to present the Lieutenant Governor's Award. This award is presented to Namiko Nani Mignola Calvo. This Women's Affairs Office Outstanding Female Graduate Award presented to Namiko Nani Mindiola Calvo, Dr. Rita Hilton, and in Junior and Senior High School Class of 2022. Next, may I call the Mayor of Rota, Honorable Ephraim M. Atalik, to present the Mayor's Award. Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, the Mayor Award is presented before the people of Rota in outstanding recognition of academic achievement for the following individual between school years 2021 and 2022. Duly signed by the Honorable Effort M. Atlin, Mayor of Rota, given on this 23rd day, May 2022. This award is granted to Ms. Sylvan Atlin Calvo. Rota Municipal Council, Honorable Jonathan Nizama and Jim Atalik to present the Most Improved Award. For this award, Most Improved goes out to Jerani J. Pinala Mindyola. I would like to call our principal, 
Ms. Denise Tanya King, our Commissioner of Education, Dr. Alfred Ada, and all our Board of Education members for the certification of the graduates. In addition, we kindly ask our Principal, our Commission of Education, and all our Board of Education members to please remain on the stage for the presentation of diplomas. Graduates, please stand. As the Principal of Dr. Rita Hokog Enos, Junior Senior High School, I, Denise Tanya King, present to you the senior class of 2022 who have met all graduation requirements as set forth by the Board of Education. As Commissioner of Education, and through the authority vested in me by the State Board of Education, I hereby certify the class of 2022 for having met the 28 credits required for graduation from the 12th grade as set forth in Regulation 60-20-434. On behalf of the State Board of Education, I, Gregory Borja, hereby accept and acknowledge the class of 2022. Congratulations. Thank you, Board Chair Borja, Dr. Ada, and Ms. King. For the presentation of diplomas, I would like to call upon the key management team and Board of Education members to present the diplomas. Again, we would like to remind all the parents and guests that during the presentation of the PLOAS, we encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering, but please allow the presentation of plays to be done after the recession of graduates.
As the president of the class of 2022, we would like to take this moment to extend our greatest appreciation to the people who have worked tirelessly to make it here today. To the staff and administrators of RHI, thank you for ensuring that our needs were attended to and ensuring that our proposals were approved. To our teachers, thank you for not giving up on us and for supporting us. To our loving parents, thank you for bringing us into this world and raising us to be the people we are now. To our class, to our class's very own second mothers, Ms. Brandy Mendiola, Ms. Manalem, and most especially to Mama Dez. We would like to and show our appreciation for all the effort, the support, and the care that you all gave us. We appreciate the never-ending lectures about life and the real world. Thank you for not throwing in the towel on us despite all the migraines and all the pain that we have caused you. It is because of your tough and unconditional love that we are all standing here today. To the class of 2022, these past few years have gone by so fast. I can still remember the day we were just stressing about how our promotion was going to look like as if it was just yesterday. It has been one of the craziest but memorable years and it honestly saddens me that it is already ending. Thank you guys for your support, your endless contributions, your amazing teamwork, all your efforts and all the memories. The class of 2022 would not be a family without all of you Mingosas. We've had, our mis we've had many mishaps here and there, failures and successes, but here we are now. Good luck on your future endeavors, mi familia. Viva la class of 2022, my girlfriend! Now, let's take this next step together and turn our tassels from the right side to the left to symbolize our transition into our next adventure. Please stand up. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Turn your tassels and make an asshole. will now perform their special presentation. We ask that everyone leave the senior walkway open and kindly direct their attention towards the graduates. May we, may we please request all guests to refrain from taking pictures and videos in the walkway, as for the class of 2K22, we'll be utilizing it for their performance. Thank you. Let's go, let's go 22.
tell her make me a great man. As you continue your journey, may you look back to the stage in your life with fondness and pride. 
May God fill your hearts with love because that love will take you further in life. Graduates, congratulations! This concludes our 11th annual RHI commencement ceremony. On behalf of the graduating class, we would like to thank everyone for attending this ceremony. And we hope that you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe and take care. Congratulations, and we hope one day you will return to Rota to serve your beautiful island. Class of 2022, we wish you the greatest success as you step into the next chapter in your life. And to always remember that new things can make an influence, but you make the main move, quoted by our very own Miss Angela Gia. Please stay tuned this evening for a special fireworks show at 8 p.m. and Songs of Cross sponsored by Rhoda Mayor's Office at Fun and Powerful Enterprise. Have a good evening and please keep safe. Oh, 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 oh,